everybody. Welcome back to my cooking channel this week. This week we're going to try a new recipe called cheeseburger taco hand pies. But first of all, I hope everybody watches this week, but please hit like and subscribe. Now to get started, I will be the first to admit that I do not make pie shells from scratch. Uh, I just don't have the skill to. I may try it later, but not right now. For now, I like to use a quick and easy convenient way. I just buy the ready to bake roll out pie crust. They can be used for many different recipes. I'm also going to try today for the first time these crescent dough sheets. I have used crescent roll before to make other things, but not the dough sheet. I'm going to see how they do today. Okay, I've already made my filling. I cooked a pound of ground beef and I added in a taco flavored mix. Now, I did not put as much water as it says. It says three-fourths of a cup. I only used half a cup because I didn't want it to be too runny. If it gets too runny, it's just going to come through your shell while it's cooking. Now, let that sit a little bit, get stiff, and get firm. And I made some macaroni cheese also. Now, since I'm just making a few of these, I didn't need a whole pot of macaroni cheese. So, I just cooked one of these little microwave macaroni cheese meals. That's all I needed. And I'm going to fill a few of these with preserves. You can use jam, jelly, preserves, anything. So we've got three flavors here. Now I have three different dough press. I bought this little dough press set on Amazon a few months ago so I could try this. You got three, uh, three different sizes here. I think this is a big five inch and a three inch and maybe a two inch. Okay, this big size is good for adults. That makes a good little hand pie just, just for a big hand. This little one here is best for the kids. These little pies fit right in their hands easy. And I kind of like medium size just for me. When it gets started, you have to let this uh, pie dough sit out for about 10-15 minutes to get room temperature, which I did. Ooh, it's just perfect. Room temperature is all I need. If it's too chilly, then you try to unroll it and it breaks. There. See there? Okay. I got my baking sheet, my uh, Copy Chef pizza pan here. I'm going to try it. We're going to bake them on that. I did spray it with some butter spray. First, let's make a big one here. Okay, the bottom side here is where you cut the dough out with. Then you lay it here to fill. Just lightly press it. Okay. See how easy that was? Put it right on top there. Uh, we're going to put some filling in it. I don't want to overfill it because then it might ooze out while it's cooking. You could just eat that like it was. I mean, you cook it like that. You wouldn't have to add anything else. But I'm going to add a little of the macaroni and cheese on top. Oh, I have made these with shredded cheese. You can put a little shredded cheese on top. Either one. Just a little bit. Then quickly press it. Let it squish around a little bit. Hopefully it comes out easy. Sometimes it might stick, but not usually. There. See there? It's all pressed around. It's got the little edges, the little ridges. Take it out. Make sure it's all pressed tight there. Lay it on your sheet over there. Now I have room here to make probably this size. That's just right. That fits good. Okay. This one, I'm going to make another one here. All right. I'll leave the cheese out of that one. I'm going to make some with just the macaroni and cheese also. Kids would love macaroni and cheese in this. Okay. Make sure it's pressed. Okay, here's a small one. I think in this small one, I will put just a dab of jelly here. Doesn't take much, by a teaspoon or two teaspoons. Now, I'll let you know when this is cooking, the jelly will sometimes ooze out on your pan, which is okay. You can just scrape it off the pan later when you wash it. It doesn't hurt. Okay, get that one out easy. 
I've got those three on the sheet right now ready to cook. And you see, I got little scraps of dough here. I'm not going to waste that dough. I can get uh, I can get one more pie out of it, maybe two. I can kind of squish it back together. Okay. And I'm going to roll it out flat. It might not come out as flat as it originally was, but I can get about as flat as I can to use it. See there? There. That's enough for one more. Okay. That's just a little thicker than the original. But it's kind of hard to roll it as thin as when you first take it out of the package. This will be fine here. I think I'll make this with dressed macaroni. Like I said, kids would love the macaroni hand pie. I don't know too many kids that don't like macaroni and cheese. <laughs> Adults for that matter too. My dough is getting a little, a little too warm almost. It wants to stick a little bit if it's too warm. Oh, that came out fine. Okay. Now, there's not much I can do with that little dab of dough. Now I'm ready to try the dough sheet. And like I said, this is the first time I've used the dough sheet. So we're both going to find out what it does. I hope it's going to be just as easy as using the pie crust. I assume it will be. But we'll find out together, won't we? Okay. Let's see. Okay. It's it's rolling nice. Hmm. Okay. And it's still cool. We'll see what I can make with this one. Okay, that came out in a nice little circle. This dough sheet is a little bit cooler, colder than the pie crust. But it's coming out pretty good. Okay. Hmm. Now I'm going to put a little filling in it. A little macaroni and cheese on top of that. Make it a taco cheeseburger. See how that comes out now. Like I said, I haven't used this dough crust before. Oh, it's coming out okay. Yeah. Sometimes it wants to squish out the back hole there. Hmm. But it wants to stick a little bit. Ah, I gotta open it. Now it came out okay. There. That was gonna cook up nice. Let's try a big one right here. Hmm. Yeah, this is a little bit thinner than the pie crust. Which means it might cook a little bit faster. I got my dough right there. Okay, spread it out. Put a little more pie filling here in it. Some ground beef. And I'm going to put just a little dab of macaroni and cheese. Press that one together. Make sure I got room on my pan here. I believe I do. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that came out pretty good. This does feel thinner than the pie crust, but it will still cook up good. Okay. Now I've got me six right there. Four with the pie crust and two with the dough sheet. Now I'm ready to pop these in the oven. I did spray the pan. Don't have to, but I like to. Just give it a little butter flavor. And these probably cook until golden brown. Maybe 20, 35 minutes on 350. Just watch it about 10, 15 minutes while it's cooking. Okay. All right. And I cooked a fresh batch up just a little while ago. There are these came out nice golden brown. 
The small ones I put the jelly in. Of course, the jelly does run out when it's cooking a little bit, but that's okay. These are with the uh, the hamburger in it. Here's the big one here I cut in half already. That's the big one. Nice and crusty brown with your hamburger cheeseburger in it. Mmm. -hmm. That tastes good. You can make those uh, up ahead for snacks. You can freeze them. Uh, like I said, you can put any filling that you want to in it. Hamburger, chicken, cheese, jelly, whatever you like in there. And just bake it in the oven. Or if you like to, you could put it in the deep fryer and fry it. I also have an air fryer. I, yeah, I believe those would good, go good in the air fryer. I may try that one other day. But that's it for today, folks. Hope y'all like these recipes and try them. Let me know. Give me some comments. Let me know anything else you like to cook. Like me try. And I will see y'all next week. Y'all have a nice week. Bye everyone.